Hey guys, so this is going to be a quick tutorial showing you how to create presets in Adobe Premiere Pro. This will pretty much help you guys speed up your editing process and make custom presets that fit your needs. You can pretty much make anything a preset under the effects tab as well as anything color grading related. Basically anything that you can keyframe will be able to become a preset for you to save and use later. So without further ado, let's jump on into it. Right now I have a little segment down here which is just a drone video. And then at the end, it has my ending to my vlog. This is a pretty simple effect. All I did was apply a crop tool to my logo. But now, as you can see, it's kind of annoying because I have to keyframe my top and I have to keyframe my ending. And I have to also set um, the easy in and easy out. So I'm going to show you guys how to create this. And I'm going to show you also how to speed this up in the future by simply creating a preset. So I'm going to delete all those guys, drag in another logo. And then I'm going to go to the effects tab and type in crop because this is the effect that I'm going to use. Drag that on there. And then what I'm going to do is simply create the bottom at 100% at a keyframe. Go somewhere here and go to 49% because this is how I create my actual things. Drag those to the end and go to ease in. And then drag that one to the beginning and go to ease out. So what that did is it pretty much created this little guy where he starts slowly and then he eases in all the way. And then I'm going to duplicate this layer and go up here and do the same thing for the top. So as you can see, that is how I end my vlogs. But I want to make this a preset so I can edit it faster in the future. So all you have to do to create a preset is simply click on the effect that you want to. So for example, I'm going to click on the top video. And this is the crop for the top portion of the clip. All you have to do is click on the effect that you are wanting to create a preset out of and then right click and click on save preset. You can pretty much type in a name of anything that you want. So I'm going to say top crop, no pun intended. And then you, there's three ways of saving it. You can either do it by a scale, an anchor to in point or an anchor to out point. This is only fitting for if you're keyframing. So since I'm keyframing from the beginning to the end, if I click scale and I save this as a preset, these two in and out points will pretty much scale to however long my clip is that I'm putting the effect on. Now if I anchor it to the end point, it'll start always at the beginning, but this will be a set distance right here. Same thing with the out point. You're going to anchor it to the out point. So it's just kind of play around with those, but right now I'm just using scale because that's all I need. I'm also the same for the bottom one. I'm going to click on crop, right click, click save preset, and type bot crop so now if I click on the effects tab and go to presets there's these two ones right here that say bot crop and top crop you can simply right click on presets click on new presets bin and you can name this whatever you want so I'm gonna say crop tools so now what you can do is simply control click both of these and drag them into crop tools and now I already have two presets that I've created I can drag a bottom crop or a top crop on. I'm going to drag the bottom crop on here. You'll notice that in the effects tab it already has everything applied with my keyframes including the easy ease stuff and it's going on the bottom keyframe. You'll notice also that it's coming from the top instead. That's simply because this is uh, basically cropping out all of the video that we don't from the bottom and we're already starting at 100% so it's 100% from the bottom up here so it's coming down. So if I really wanted to I could change the wording of these to help me out in the future. So I could say crop from top from bottom so now that you know how to create a preset I'm gonna drag in my logo and show you how fast it is to simply create my ending now so I'm gonna crop from top on the top one I'm gonna crop from bottom on the bottom one and as you can see playing through it is already done and all I have to do to simply let that logo last a little bit longer is drag these guys out to the end because since I started it right there the keyframes will not move and boom I am done so you guys can use this pretty much to create your own presets whatever you want if you want to do any color grading any stuff like that all you just go to the color tab apply some little effect over here and mess around with your Lumetri color stuff and then you can click on the Lumetri color right click and click on save preset the same effect applies and then you can go back to your effects and you'll notice that it's right there. And that's how you create custom LUTs, which will be a future video. Awesome. Well, I hope you guys enjoyed that. I'm excited to see what you guys make. And if you make your own LUT pack, let me know. I'll download it and check it out.